मॉर्निंग एवरी वन दिस इज बी अली रजा एंड इन दिस वीडियो आई विल बी टेलिंग यू अबाउट वट इज कन्वर्जन गोल ऑन गूगल एड्स एंड हाउ यू कैन सेट अप एंड वट आर डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ कन्वर्जन गोल्स अवेलेबल ऑन दिस वीडियो सो बी विद मी एंड लेट्स गेट स्टार्ट विद दिस वीडियो ऑन कन्वर्जन गोल्स इन गूगल एड्स सो बेसिकली इफ इन अदर वर्ड्स इट इट इज एक्चुअली सेंग डेट अ कन्वर्जन गोल इज एक्चुअली अ शॉर्ट गोल विच हैज टू बी कम्पलीटेड ऑन अ वेबसाइट इट इज एक्चुअली अ टूल Uh, to determine your marketing strategies how well it's performing and uh, because most of the actions are being done on a website and you are looking forward for an action by your visitor on a website to make it a successful con- uh, conversion so which is why it is very important in case if you are trying to understand is google ads working well for you or not you need to have a conversion goal on your website to determine if it's really working or well or not there are different types of conversion goals available such as buying on a website filling a form uh, buying or downloading a book so there are certain types so in this uh, video i will be doing a step by step on how you can create your own conversion goal and which type of conversion goal uh, can be created through google ads so stay with me on this so now let's say if i open google chrome uh, and in here i open uh, google ads account let's say if i log in to account okay, this is a manager account i know so for instance this is one of an account i have opened uh, where uh, i will be creating a conversion goal so let me demonstrate with you as well let me open my uh, account to show you some examples of uh, uh, uh goals which uh, are actually running we do a refresh as well because this page has loaded and this is not yet okay so what we are going to do is we are going to create okay over here in case if you you have to go to tools and setting and then conversions okay in conversions there are multiple goals you can create for instance it's a calls from a smartphone a smart campaign if i have to create a new uh, conversion action i can do it it is actually giving me four options number 1 track actions on your website in case if i am running a mobile app uh, and i have to track actions on my mobile app for instance i am looking for downloads i am looking for installs i have not i do not want all people only to download but rather install or i want people to do specific action like buying i can do that i am looking for a calls uh, from my ads uh, i will select the third option so let's say if i select website in website i can track four things online sales link clicks page views sign ups or downloads for is e download ebook downloads uh, where it says of a uh, page views or uh, link clicks i can also do like email uh, submissions i can verify if, uh, like i'm people are submitting e uh, insurance leads if i'm asking name email addresses uh, so i can track that as well through website with apps i can do app installs in app purchases in app actions like i told you like i do not want only to download but rather uh, run the app as well for phone calls calls from ads calls from number on your website or calls in a number on mobile sites i can uh, do three of the things as well so if i have to import data from google analytics sales force offline lead conversions or phone sales i can do that here as well so for instance if i am doing uh, for instance if i am doing uh, phone conversions so i have uh, already selected and let's say i been provided calls from ads using call extensions or call only ads calls from phone number on your website clicks on your now on your number on your mobile website i can do these things and for a website if i am looking for a form okay i am uh, so they are asking me to verify the domain where i am want uh, uh, this uh, action to be done so this is a website where i want it to be done okay okay there are two options now in case if i want to track through events 
I can do that as well. What happens is whenever a people submit a form, it moves to a thank you page. And whenever a thank you page is shown, Google will record automatically that a conversion has taken place. So you, you do not usually redirect someone to a thank you page. You only redirect them when you ask them to perform a specific action on your website. For instance, uh, here on this website, they are looking for people, for instance, on their targeted page, which I do know the page as well. So here they are actually looking for people to submit their name and send a message. So in this scenario, they are looking for people name, email, message. So we can uh, uh, and they will move on to the in case if they are not doing it, we need to add, ask them to add it as well. Okay. So they are not doing it. So we do not have a, a thank you page ready yet. So we are going to create a goal manually and ask them to create a thank you page where they can land it. So when I'm going to select that, I will be providing with the selector category purchases, add to cart, begin, checkout, subscribe, contact, submit lead form. So it's a basically a submit lead form. We can also do appointment, sign up, request quote it's either a request quote or either a uh, submit it form we can go with the request quote okay in case if there is a uh, different value for instance if you are selling multiple products if you are running an e-commerce store and every product price is different so you need to have a different value for each conversion but right now it is not a conversion uh, it is not a monetary conversion uh, general conversion so we will use the same value for each conversion or don't uh, actually rather don't use a value because this is a form how many uh, inversions to count per click every you are also been given the option of click through rate or i will select the maximum of 90 days here i will be uh, doing a maximum because you know not every visitor do the con uh, conversion right away. It may sometimes it may take some them several days to do that action. So it's all up to the personal preference. And since people are doing multiple advertising messages, like they are also advertising on Google ads, they are also advertising on Facebook ads. So which is why the, these things can be uh, different. Like select the maximum time of a person views your ad that you want to count view through conversion. So I will again select this to the maximum available of 30 days and now I'm going to say done. So this is my done and now save and continue. Okay. So now they are giving me two options HTML or AMP which page I'm using for instance if I'm using HTML. It is a request code available status unverified because the code is not yet uh, being uh, shown on the website. Okay, you know, you know, another thing is uh, in case if you are using Google tag manager like they are using, you can see the Google tag tag manager ID in case if you are using it, you do not need any additional code to be placed on your website but if in case if you are not using google tag manager you may need need to place an additional code on the website so google can cross link with it so here it is not requiring for any additional uh, link and it is because uh, and it is because they are already using google ta tag manager super so, but in case if we have to specifically install it ourselves we are going to select it from here and uh, here the option is and here I can select the code and I can paste it on the website they are recommended to be placed on the head and head tag of the website uh, so it's all to the but once it's done once it's done and once it's verified you will be able to record conversions for instance here uh, let me show you generally so like if I am saying like like this Like these lines, these are the conversions to be uh, happen in their account. 7,000, 7, uh, 328, 248, 41, 13 conversions. So these are the conversions. But once you set a, uh, uh, successfully set one conversion, you can verify the, uh, them through uh, these ways that 
how your marketing campaigns are working for you so with this let me end this video i hope you like it if you have any questions comments or suggestions you are more than welcome to ask in the comments box so thank you for watching and bye bye